Okay, so we're going to take um, different roots, not just like square roots, but like cube roots or fourth roots or fifth roots. So now what makes it different is I was looking for perfect squares, right? So if I wanted like cube root, I have to look for perfect cubed numbers. Like, so what times what times what gives me, you know, the number or like, for example, I'm going to be looking to divide something by eight instead of four because eight is two times two times two. I'm going to be looking to divide something by 27 if I'm looking for a cube root because that's three times three times three. So what we're going to start to do with these roots is that we're going to just start to group them together. So all the, all the properties of square roots still work. Um, so, you know, I can multiply them together. I can separate them, you know, I can, you know, if, if they're, you know, separated, I can put them together or if they're together, I can separate them, you know, so there's a lot of different things. And then there's all your rules of exponents that can come into play. Um, but now with odd numbered roots, I will get a negative result if I have negative underneath the root. But with even roots, if I get negative underneath the root, like this one, for example, we're going to just say, uh, cannot, be determined for now. Oops. You can do it. Requires more math than in this class, so we don't worry about it for right now. Um, and we only worry about I when it's square roots. Okay. All right. So let's look at the fifth root of 243. And you're like, man, like, I don't, you know, do I really want to do like what times what? Five times? Like, I don't think so. So we're going to start to just break it down. So I'm like, oh, he's odd. So let's see if he's divisible by three, right? So 243 divided by three um, is 81. Oh, good. Okay. 81 divisible by three is uh, two, uh, six, 21, seven, right? So then divisible by three again is nine. Divisible by three again is three. So how many threes do I have for 243? I actually have five of them. So this is the fifth root. My watch is like vibrating right now. I'm getting some sort of a notification. Um, so this is the fifth root of negative and it's three to the fifth. Well, when I have the exponent is the same as the root, then they cancel each other out and I just get three. Okay. So now that one we already talked about cannot be determined. Now I'm going to look at 24, right? Well, 24. Oh, I'm like, Oh, eight times three. So cube root of eight, cube root of three. And then now seven. Now, instead of doing them in groups of two, right? I'm going to do them in groups of three. So the cube root of X cubed and the cube root of X cubed gives me, six of them. I just wrote six. Um, and then the cube root of X by itself. So three plus three plus one gives me seven. So I have that many of them. So now what am I going to do? I got to group these guys together. It's a struggle today. Okay. So I have this guy, this guy, and this guy makes um, a total of two X squared. And then what am I left with? is a cube root of 3x. Okay, fourth roots now, and you're like, oh man, like, how am I going to do this? And, you know, you might get really good at it, and you might be really, really bad at it. So if you get really, really bad at it, just take 80 and divide, divide it by 2, right? So um, that gives me 40. Divide by 2 again gives me 20. Divide by 2 again gives me 10. Divide by 2 again gives me 5. And I'm like, oh, hey, look, four twos. So then I have the fourth root of two to the fourth, right? Then I have the fourth root of five, which doesn't do me any good. And then now 14, so I have to group them in fours. So 14 minus four gives me 10, minus four again gives me six, minus four again gives me two. So I have one, two, three groups of four. So I have four, y to the fourth, fourth root, y to the fourth, fourth root y to the fourth. So that gives me 12 of them. And then I'm left with a fourth root of y squared underneath there. So now what I'm pulling out is one, two, three, and a two. 
So I have a 2y cubed, and then what I'm left with is a fourth root of 5y squared. Okay, and I'm like, oh yeah, a's, I can reduce those first. So I get the fourth root of a to the eighth. And I'm like, oh yeah, I could do this fourth root, a to the fourth, and a fourth root of a to the fourth gives me a squared. Yay! All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, I have a lot of examples. See, look at all these. Oh, it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's rewrite this as one root. So I'm going to take 96 and I'm going to divide it by 3. So I get um, 32. So this becomes the fourth root of 32 x to the fifth power because I can subtract my exponents. So now my 32 divided by 2, 16, divided by 2, 8, divided by 2, 4, divided by 2, 2. So I have a total of five twos. So this will be fourth root of 2 to the fourth, fourth root of 2, fourth root of x to the fourth, and the fourth root of x. So now I can group these things together and we'll group my fourth roots and pull those out. So that becomes the fourth, not the fourth root. Um, it becomes two times x and then I'm left with my fourth roots and it's the fourth root of two x. Okay, so now um, these are together, but there's nothing I can do to simplify, right? So they're like, they're all unique. The X's and the Y's aren't the same. There's no numbers that I can simplify. So I would separate this out. So that's how I would know like what I should do is whether or not they're, they have like common like terms, I guess. Um, and then I would um, go through and simplify that. Okay, so 48 is divisible by 4. Um. And 12 is divisible by 4, so this is 16. So this is the fourth root of 2 to the fourth, because there's four 2s in there. And then the fourth root of, oh my goodness, my pencil is acting all funny right now. Um, the fourth root, x to the fourth, fourth root, x to the fourth. That gives me eight of them, and then the fourth root of x squared makes a total of 10. And then I have the fourth root of ay, ay, ay. Um, y to the fourth and the fourth. <laughs> it, it is not wanting to work today. Fourth root of y to the fourth. So now I can go ahead and I can simplify. So I have 2x squared, fourth root of x squared, and then I'm left with a y squared in the bottom. Okay. Now, um... B is the base. So I can rewrite um, roots as um, fractional exponents. Um, P is the exponent. And R is the root. Okay, so if I have 8 to the 2 thirds, that's actually the cube root of 8 and then squared. So the cube root of 8 is 2, so that it's 2 squared, which is 4. I typically do my roots first and then I square or I do my exponent afterwards if I can. So this is the cube root of negative 64. So it's what times what times what gives me 64, which is actually 4. So that's just negative 4. Um, again, rules of exponents or PEMDAS um, order of operations tells me that um, I do the cube root of 64 first and then I make it negative. So this is still actually negative 4. Um, negative in the exponent actually means 1 over 64, and then this is to the positive 1 third power. So then it's the cube root of 1 and the cube root of 64, which is 1 fourth. Okay. Um, this is the cube root of 125, and then it is squared. So the cube root of 125 is 5, and then squared, which is 25. Fourth root of 81, and then that's cubed. So what times what times what times what gives me 81. 
3 times 3 times 3 times 3 gives me 81. So this is 3 cubed, and 3 cubed is 27. Um, 4 to the negative 5 halves power is 1 fourth to the positive 5 halves power by my rules of exponents. So this is the square root of 1 fourth. And then that's to the fifth power, which is the square root of 1 over the square root of 4 to the fifth power, which is 1 half to the fifth power. And that is um, 1 over 32. Okay. Rules of exponents tell me that this 3 fifths power gets multiplied here and then it gets distributed to the 32. So this is 32 to the 3 fifths power. And then this is x to the 1 fifth power um, because I multiply. So 3 times 1 over 5 times 3, um, which is 3 over 15, which is 1 fifth. So then I take the fifth root of 32 and then I cube it and x to the 1 fifth power. So that is 2 cubed x to the 1 fifth power, which is 8 to the 1 fifth power. Okay, and that is it for this lesson.